Yes, you too. Rulito back here with a brand new video on the channel. I hope you guys will love this vlog. We're currently in Austin for the EMLS group stage and cup, obviously. Today is the group stage, but I'm here in this beautiful arena in Austin. Wait, let me show you. You see here the pitch, absolutely fantastic. We have Alfonso there. Uh, and yeah, this is the beautiful pitch. We have Edu in the back as well, chilling. Hello, guys. And, uh, here too watching like a football game of MLS. I think it's the first for all and the first for me. So yes, sir. It's gonna be cool. And I'm back. So uh, yeah, we're here today watching the group stage. Uh, luckily for me, I'm not playing because uh, I'm, thir I'm third seed coming into the bracket. So I'm already in the quarterfinals on Sunday. So uh, today it's basically yeah being here in the stadium, chilling and uh, obviously practicing a bit against uh, other players. Um, so yeah, we uh, I will show you my team. And uh, yeah, just uh, get a bit of uh, footage around how the group stage looks because uh, there are six players that are qualified for uh, Sunday already. And it's me, it's Diogo, it's Paolo Neto, Yafonso, Lamps and Gustavo. So uh, us six are already in uh, the bracket. And yeah, let's just show you my team now. And then I'm going to show you a bit of, um, yeah, a bit of the, I don't know, background. I don't know, like what should we say? Like the, like what's the word? Like uh, behind the scenes is the word. I will show you a bit of behind the scenes. So yeah, just, just jump into today's vlog and I hope you guys will absolutely love it. Here is my old coach. Old coach in the vlog. <laughs> I mean, can I can I can we say we had some time together? We had we had like five years together, bro. So. Something like that. So. It's been um, it's been one hell of a journey. And what what is this for? This is gonna be your vlog. My YouTube, bro. My YouTube. Yeah, Yo, your YouTube. Yeah. So if you want to follow this guy, I will put his Twitter handle here. Nah, you don't need to follow me. No? Just, just subscribe to this guy. Bro, I, I, bro. I'm, I'm done with my social media. Bro. We basically have a world champion coach. And then we have the... the, the, the you know, I, wanted, I wanted to who say that. Me? Who beat us? <laughs> yeah, who, who beat the Netherlands in the final. Yeah, man. So, looking at the team right now, we are backstage. Let me show you. This is basically like the backstage room. A bit of staff here working. And yeah, this is my screen. I just played a friendly game against Diogo managed to win, which was nice. And then we have Paloneto sitting next to me. We have Diogo there and then Lamps there. And then also Yafonso and Gustavo, obviously. But yeah, I will show you the team right now, because I think the team is looking pretty goddamn sick. This is easily by far the best team we had uh, if we compare it to League Season 1 and 2. So first, first of all, we're starting with Slick Rick Luca. And that's basically uh, Riccardo Lucarelli is a volleyball player and we want this guy to be a volleyball player on Sunday. So this is the team starting from the back. We have Coronel, we have Vera, Wagner, Rudiger and Onya Bao, as we say. Xavi and De Bruyne pairing up in the midfield. Kylian Mbappé, best goal for all goal card on the game. Um, Haaland, Henri and Messi. Then for the bench, we are currently having Gerard, Ginola, Van Dijk, Schmeichel, Davies, Bisek and Evander. Huh? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, yes, this is currently the team. Uh, in the background, I mean, overall, I think it's a good team. We need to have four MLS players on the pitch at the same time always. So, for me, that's, as I said, Coronel, Vera, Wagner and Lionel Messi will be on the pitch always. 
So these were players who scored for me. Hopefully they would do well. And yeah, I think next segment in the, in the vlog will probably be the game tomorrow. We're going to Austin FC game against St. Louis here in the stadium as you saw at the start of the vlog. Yeah, let's uh, hope for a good game. I feel good. Um, I think this is the best draft uh, before the MLS Cup that uh, if we compare them to League Series 1 and 2, this is the best draft we've had up to date. So feeling good with the team. Um, haven't really been playing a lot before the Cup and I think that's mainly because we've done the preparations before uh, League Series 1 and 2. So um, just trying to uh, be fresh coming into now uh, to the Cup obviously. Um, but I'm feeling good. I've been playing well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to playing on Sunday. I'm Edu, City Football Group coach, and we're here today in Austin for the MLS Cup going up tomorrow. And it's like the biggest tournament of the year for us in the league season, so we're like waiting for it like so much. And it's been like a long preparation coming into this from League Series 1, League Series 2, and now the Cup. And also like we've been working like with Ole for a month now, so yeah, like we're really looking forward into tomorrow. We don't have to walk so fast, Castellano, man. It's supposed to be calm. But this is what I felt. What? You don't want your phone? No. I mean, see the slack on the cable here? I want you to tuck that in your pocket so you don't get caught on anything when you're walking around there, right? Firm handshake. It was okay. Uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. I'm not going to go with that. That doesn't mean it's a guaranteed result. That's what we love to say. That's what we love to hear. That's what we love to commentate on. We know that they don't want to stop talking about it. We're talking about it. Yeah. But I mean, like he wasn't crossing as much as he was doing like League Series Two. Okay. And there are a lot of times like he just ball rolling and played pass inside, like to Inola, for example, or Mbappe. You know what I mean? Like to the forward. So he's doing ball roll from Palme and playing the yeah, yeah, inside. inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what do you mean? When he recovers, he tries to turn with the ball, like, like when he gets the ball from me. Yeah. Like not passing it away. With the defenders, turn. he turns and then you press and you take the ball yeah. and one on one with the keeper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like try to play like we did, like control the game, slow yeah. paced, yeah. and then like try to reach right back as we always do, and then they either we cross it or we go like. Inside. And, yeah, and if we need it, we play a tall guy to cover the crosses to Alan. Yeah. Yeah. And if you feel like you have any chance, like I don't know, like to shoot at the Bruyne with finesse or or like play long ball pass with trigger in the fullback. Yeah. Try it, but I mean, like last game was perfect. Yeah. It's like also when you when you had like the kind of fast pace we had a few times, I just want to slow it down sometimes as well. Mm. Even when I have the chance to like go through the ball, just like rather switch it a few times to get by and then either, you know, yeah. what's happening there. Defend the, the play lock, like with the play lock. No. No. So it's I mean basically the, the same like as the two, three times the like Alan Avi crossed, he yeah. didn't use play lock. No. And how did the Alan Avi score? He scored one, no? Yeah, he scored like he went through the through the counter attack because his fullback was in position. Yeah. And then like went byline. Ah, go ahead, like a rebound and something. Three, 
champion from a few weeks ago as now Messi is through and Jafonto shows why he's the reigning LS2 champion as he takes the lead via Lionel Messi lovely get going he just doesn't stop and on the right hand side of your screen he is going forward yet again Messi now edging towards the box finds one oh. more it's gonna be two and the New England Revolution double their lead with his shins He's just got such a good control of the ball and uh -oh. so present as Jafonso does the same with Haaland. And I said it doesn't matter where he is on the pitch. He coming forward to try and make it a fourth at the moment against Oli Lito. A far more one-sided game than I thought it was going to be. As Haaland brings it down and he's made it four. Seven. Not done there. And he is not he's done not yet. Done there. Oh, oh, almost making it six. He's got as everything. he's trying to swat aside the reigning EMLS Cup champion of NR7. As Jafonso makes it five and maybe books his... Probably not. If you could do this against one of the best players in the world, then I'm scared what you do against a casual player in weekend league. As Mbappe gets a goal for Oli Lito and ruins the clean sheet for Jafonso, but just a little bit too late, sadly, for any sort of comeback. I mean, I've seen Korea roll off the tongue as NR7 does get a third goal on the left-hand side of your screen. Maybe Oli Lito could find a second here with Mbappe, and he does find a second, but again, with only seven minutes remaining. It's you. So we have our finalists, Mike. Jafonso and K1 John. Is that kind of what you would have thought at the start of the day, or is that a surprise to you? I don't think either of us or any of us had K1 John labeled because of who he had to go through in order to get to this point. Um, maybe Jafonso especially based on what we saw in LS2. He's the number one player on the, the power rankings. And we were questioning that. We were saying, well, how's Palonetto not there? We, we were wrong. Jafonso deserved to be there for sure. Well, Jafonso guarantees his oh spot my God. in the final as K1 John also just made it 9-3, by the way. But Olilito and Jafonso, look what it means to Jafonso as his spot at the FC Pro World Championship.